Hi, Taurus. Let's get a sense Oops, of what is happening for Taurus. Okay, so Taurus, very interesting. Where you are right now, your current position is the Page of Pentacles. And with the Page of Pentacles, we can see this young guy, this young page, who is holding and looks to be observing the Pentacle, studying it, looking at it. He's thinking about how am I going to have security? How am I going to build abundance? How am I going to grow and have be prosperous? And this is this youthful enthusiasm, the youthful desire of wanting to learn, of wanting to achieve, of working hard, of being studious. So often with pages, you know, it's kind of like uh, at any age when you get excited about a new area to pursue. It's a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of desire to study up on it and to become uh, more skilled within it. So if it was sailing. So this page, again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, it's at the heart is that you are studying and thinking about perhaps improving your financial situation your budget, your education, your studies, your certification, something related to uh, work. You may be thinking of trying to build uh, financial security and stability for a relationship or a family. What is crossing you is the hermit. And the hermit is, uh, I believe, Virgo. And this hermit holds his lantern and he has climbed to the top of the mountain. He's taken himself out of social activities, socialness of life to reflect, to go within, to think about life, to think about your life, Taurus. So you're going to be taking some time to reflect, to contemplate, and to think about your past actions and how they've gotten you to the place that you are right now. You also may be thinking about what's next for me. What do I want to do next? You know, do I want to pursue the career that I'm in? Do I want to continue the relationship that I'm in? Or perhaps I have to do some thinking about a relationship or the type of relationship that I want to have and try to envision that. But with the Hermit card, it's a sense of taking a time out from all of the chaos and the busyness in life for you to get in touch with yourself. Your foundation is, again, it's about family and security. So Taurus, this member, is you're really thinking about shoring up your home finances, doing things maybe to beautify your home, in this card, you can see there is a patriarch, there's a couple, there's children, there's the dog. It's the house with all the pentacles, the beautiful home. And so this is a sense of legacies, of taking care of your family, taking care of those around you, of building and leaving perhaps something behind for the family, planning for your child's education, there's happiness within this card. There's a sense of respecting all of the generations, of the generational family security. And again, this theme of coins and pentacles, the earthiness, 
Taurus sign of Taurus Virgo Capricorn continues in your recent past. It's the Nine of Pentacles. And we see this woman here dressed in a beautiful robe. She has pentacles in the garden. She's holding a falcon. You know, she's worked hard for what she has um, acquired. So this is having material comforts at home. And with the Nine of Pentacles, there's a sense of enjoying it and making time for hobbies, making time for pastimes. All work and no play is uh, not the way to go. And Taurus sometimes can be so diligent and so focused um, and duty bound that you forget to have fun. Now, with this Nine of Pentacles, this is, represents independence. It represents sac self-sacrifice and discipline to get to this position. So uh, you could be an independent single person and maybe you're hoping or thinking about a relationship. You could be in a relationship but feeling kind of... Um, maybe on your own to a degree. On the other hand, if you're in a relationship, you could be so uh, incredibly independent that it's hard to mesh and hard to work together as a unit, as a couple. And so, you know, this is a card about having material comforts and enjoying success, having pastimes, independence. It's a sense of independence. It's also a sense of maybe of being tired of being alone and wanting something else. You know, realizing that you have everything that you want and the falcon, you could be thinking, I want a relationship too. You know, I've been on my own for so long, I need to find someone to share it with. What's crowning you is judgment. And judgment, we see the little people here rising out of the coffins, hands to the sky, the angel blowing the fanfare as if to say, awaken, here's your chance. And really this is a card about rebirth. It's about a reawakening. It's never too late to take stock of your life and to decide whether or not you are fulfilling your highest purpose. If you are doing the things that you hope to achieve and to accomplish within your lifetime, it's also an opportunity to look past and look at your past actions very similar to the hermit and to think about how and what you've done and what you've revealed has gotten you to this place. Are you going to be able to change course and to bring more meaning to your life? Are you doing a great job and you're really satisfied? You've been working hard, you've been striving, studying, saving, investing, enjoying your home, beautifying your home, having hobbies, but maybe you're thinking, is that all there is? Maybe I need more in my life. And so judgment, which happens right before the final card of the major arcana, it's kind of like looking at the, this is your life, real. And so if you're not happy with your life, you have time to be able to change course. In your near future, aside from all the work that you've been doing and focusing on money and finances, you have the Three of Cups. This is a great card. This is, uh, again, Cups Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And with the Three of Cups, it's about celebrating and having fun with your friends. Either, either after work, happy hour, or a party, or just a small gathering, but you are able to toast your lives. You're able to be with the people who really care about you and like you for who you are. And so this is a card of, of um, felicity and just having fun and enjoying time. Now the flip side of this card to be aware of is don't overdo partying and having fun. Ultimately, that may affect your pentacle prosperity, but pentacle energy and Taurus work hard or diligent, and it's evidenced here with the page of pentacles of planning, studying, 
So we get that in. And thinking and reflecting. Enjoying some hobbies, but also it's good to have some time with friends. This could also represent, if you're single, that maybe you're dating around and having some fun and going out on dates and trying to, you know, change your circumstance from being single. If you're in a relationship, again, it could be just fostering a deeper bond with someone that you care about and have, emo have an emotional connection with. Where you are right now is the hanged man. And in the hanged man, we see this guy suspended from the branch. He has a halo around his head. He seems really comfortable. This is about being comfortable with your decision. So whether you are taking a time out, perhaps from all the hard work, Maybe you're taking, uh, or you feel like you've been sacrificing a lot of yourself in order to get into a financially secure position. But this is a card that could be thought of as sacrifice, of hitting the pause button. It's also the card of having a new perspective, of approaching a situation with a different way of thinking. And if you are single, perhaps you're thinking about I don't want to be independently fabulous alone. I want to bring in someone into my life. I've been thinking a lot about it. I've been thinking that I really work hard for the family or for my own security. And it's time to get out there to meet people, be with people, and maybe to have a new perspective on my balance of, of work, relationships, family. So you are thinking about this now. In your environment, another pentacles, again, it's the uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, queen of pentacles. And this queen sits on her throne. She is gentle. She is kind, nurturing, very down to earth. This is again, more practical, common sense, straightforward and grounded energy. Her energy is telling you to stop and smell the roses, spend time outside in nature. It's refreshing. It can revitalize you. It's also pay attention to resources in your life, which I think that you have been doing. This just kind of brings another um, affirmation of that, is that in November you've been really thinking about money and property and homes perhaps beautifying homes. And the queen, listen, she can go to a flea market and find a great bargain and turn it into something beautiful. So she's resourceful. And this can go to you um, beautifying your home, doing something to improve your home, spending time with your pets, you know, going for a walk around the lake. Again, see a theme of thinking about things, planning, perhaps changing course. Your hopes and fears have the Ace of Cups, a beautiful card of emotions spilling over from the cup. Aces are gifts, blessings, or opportunities from the universe. This hand is saying here, feel the love, find the love within your life. This can be a suggestion that you may be meeting someone that is um, a potential suitor, a potential relationship. And again, in your outcome, the Knight of Cups, you could be meeting a water sign, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. He's dreamy. He's romantic, poetic, will sweep you off your feet. He may, may, may not be so good on follow-up sometimes and may do a lot of sweet talking and chatting and calling, but uh, this could be someone that is in your future. Now, with a court card like a knight, you know, it could represent youthful energy. It could be someone within your circle. It could be attributes that you uh, would benefit from, romantic, ha having romantic opportunities having gentleness and compassion 
and intuition and a lot of love. And with this Ace of Cups, this tells me that you, you're thinking about love. You're wanting some love to come through. You are wanting to have an emotionally rich and satisfying relationship. This is a deep bond uh, that can transform your life and can make your life feel full, fulfilled. Better word, fulfilled. You've been a practical, practical person, working hard, keeping it all together, grounded, doing your part. Time maybe to think of a new way of approaching your life, which is it's a lot of work, a lot of saving. Maybe it's just time to have some fun, to date, to enjoy, to bring in this cup energy. And the water signs work well with Taurus in terms of relationships. It's a nice combination. It's a sense of what's, what's crowning you is this of really checking in with yourself, almost like a your own checklist of what's happening in my life. Am I on course? Am I on the right path? And again, family security, working on money, abundance, working on yourself, asking yourself some honest, serious questions. So what I don't see, huh, I don't see swords in November for you Taurus. So this is a, this is a month that's related to money, resources, family, security, your properties, beautification, nature, and it's a month of reflection and emotions, getting in touch with your emotions. Not so much of logic and reason and objectivity, and that's okay. Focus on emotions. Focus on what your heart is telling you that it wants. So let's deepen the reading and let's take a look and get a little more information for love. <coughs> okay. Cause and effect. You are aware that love you create in your thoughts is an agent of change and the foundation of your results. This is so incredibly powerful because what you think becomes reality. What you set in your mind each day, what you visualize becomes a reality. So if you are a Taurus that is single and wants to be in a relationship, you have to think of what that relationship is going to feel like. What is it going to look like, um, you know, in your mind's eye, if you're making a movie, what are you seeing? What kind of life are you li living with this other person? What are the things that you do? What are the things that make you feel fulfilled and happy? With this cause and effect, again, cause and effect of, of thinking about your actions, how actions kind of create your future and your path. Cause and effect, thinking about your perspective on love, on work, on family balance. You create in your thoughts is an agent of change. An agent of change. And again, the potential here for a romance if you're single. If you're in a relationship, perhaps it's a strengthening, it's a reawakening, it's a reaffirmation of a great relationship. Okay, and to close out the reading, let me pull one more card. and We'll get a sense of something to practice or something to think about for the month of November. Compassion. Release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. To have compassion. Uh, you got to love yourself before you can love others. 
You have to accept yourself. You have to be good to yourself. And um, th that's going to open any pathways to a relationship. It's going to heighten and to uh, improve an existing relationship. It's to think about the good things in your life. Think about the good things that you do. You deserve love. You deserve to be loved. Uh, you deserve to have the life that brings you to your highest purpose. You have to do the work. You have to do the reflection. And you have to really plan and visualize, just like he's visualizing and looking at this pentacle. You really have to think about how you're going to make it a reality. So Taurus, I hope that you found something helpful here in this reading. If you enjoyed this reading and the tarot advice for the month, please like, share, or comment. If you're new to the channel, again, please subscribe. It's a great way to stay connected and to show support. And I hope to see you again for another reading. Blessings to you in November. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.